Hi, I'm Dr Anthea Rhodes, paediatrician and director of the RCH National Child Health Poll. And today I'm joined by Dr Sarah McNabb, director of the Department of General Medicine here at the RCH. We're going to be talking about some findings from our latest poll about the common cold and in particular understanding what causes it and how you can prevent it. So Sarah, it's the thick of winter and there's lots of colds around, but we found people weren't entirely clear about what a cold actually is. So the common cold is caused by a virus. There are actually about 200 viruses that can cause the cold, but it is different to the flu. Antibiotics don't work, unfortunately, because they act on bacteria. Okay, so how is it different to the flu? Often parents might be a bit confused, they might be worried. How will a child present differently with a cold versus the flu? Sure, so to start with, despite it being flu season, it's actually much more common to have the common cold than to actually have the flu. The symptoms of cold are a runny nose, a sore throat, you can have a fever, you can have a cough. And some of those symptoms are similar to the symptoms that you get with the flu. But in general, if your child is relatively active and doesn't look particularly unwell, then it's more likely to be a cold. If your child's very lethargic, isn't eating and drinking adequately, has lots of muscle aches and pains, then it's a good idea to go and see your doctor and I'd usually recommend starting with the GP. Okay, and so obviously colds are a bother, they can make kids feel unwell, means time off work for parents, time off school for children, so the best thing we can do is try and prevent them. But what we want to know, I guess, to do that well is how are they spread and what really makes a difference when stopping that spread? The best way to prevent cold is simply to wash your hands. So colds are spread through the air, yes. but they're also spread through getting the cold virus on your hands and touching things, touching your own face. And if someone else comes along and touches something that you've touched, they can get the cold in that way. Avoiding people who are sick mm -hmm. is something lots of parents told us they do do to yes. try and prevent their child catching a cold. Yeah. But because sometimes you can spread a cold before you have symptoms, mm -hmm. or a cold yeah. might be on a surface like you talked about, yes. you might still pick it up from the environment. So that's where hand washing is the most effective strategy for preventing a cold. Yeah. So lots of parents told us they're trying other things as well, because we all want to avoid colds if we can. What about over-the-counter medicine? So in particular, multivitamins and supplements. Many parents said their kids are taking these every day to try and prevent a cold. Do we know if this works? Yeah, I wish it did. Unfortunately, it doesn't make a difference. So there's no good study that shows us that over-the-counter vitamins prevent catching a cold. And then another thing we found really interesting was uh, around 80% of parents told us that they actually follow sort of myths or folklores to try and keep their child well and avoid them catching a cold. So things like not going to bed with wet hair, not going outside when the weather is bad or the air is cold. Yeah, I think we've all heard those before, but they actually are myths. So again, going to bed with wet hair, going out in the cold, being cold does not cause you to have a cold. And finally, what about antibiotics? So you mentioned at the beginning, the cold is caused by a virus and that viruses don't respond to antibiotics. But we found 13% of parents are giving their children antibiotics to try and prevent them catching a cold and another quarter of parents giving them antibiotics thinking that will stop the cold from getting worse and perhaps turning into a flu. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's really concerning to us. So again, the common cold is caused by a virus. It's not caused by bacteria and antibiotics treat bacteria. So using antibiotics to treat the common cold is a problem for a few reasons. So one is that antibiotics have side effects. Um, another reason is the cost and the difficulty in getting antibiotics into a child. Another issue is antibiotic resistance, which means as a community, the bacteria that we're trying to treat, they're quite clever and they adapt. And it may be that in the future, antibiotics are less likely to work on the bacteria that we're trying to treat. So some top tips for avoiding catching those colds and preventing things for parents? Well, I think the number one thing is it's really tricky to avoid catching the cold and it's very normal for your child to have lots of episodes of, of the cold. But other things that you can do are washing your hands, and also staying home if you're sick or avoiding people who are sick. Fantastic, and not wasting money on things that don't necessarily work. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully this advice will help you at home to stay well with your kids this winter. If you found this information helpful, please share it with your family and friends and give us a like on Facebook. And stay tuned on Friday when we're going to share a video with you on how to wash your hands properly so that can really help you to stop catching a cold.